Welcome to This Week in Our Collective Heads. We're here with the, some of the amazing cast of Clerks, as well as many other uh, other things. We probably know them mostly uh, from Clerks. Um, so when, when you guys filmed this, you know, Kevin just had like the lowest budget you can imagine. Link. No, no, no. Sure. Zero. Zero budget. <laughs> it's the lowest budget. When you're in debt, yeah. that's the lowest budget. Yeah. So yeah. at least he had some cash for equipment, film, and um, but we didn't pay for the food because the catering was the store. Sorry. <laughs> but not, we, he paid her back. Sure, so, sure. So, it was, so it was just we had a big catering department, but just whatever we wanted off the shelf. Oh, yeah, that works. That works. So no lasagna or anything? No. no. Empty, empty box. box. No, that, yeah, it was empty totally box. empty box. Empty box. Empty box. Uh, uh, it's called yeah. acting <laughs> dreams. <Ooh. laughs> yeah. Nothing in there. i got to act like there's something in there. <laughs> so where, where did you guys meet Kevin? I mean, I know I don't want to center this all around him, but I think that's where most people know you guys. Where, right. where, where did you meet Where did you meet Kevin? All the three of us are the same story. All three, right, same story. We all like, auditioned. We just yeah, auditioned. We auditioned. Yeah. yeah. Although Brian and I did know each other, okay. I didn't know he had auditioned. Um, but yeah, it was just going to the auditions and, and, and previously done acting work with Brian. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's really cool. That's really cool. And, and you? I just saw an ad in the uh, classifieds yeah. of uh, Northern New Jersey paper because I'm about an hour and a half, almost two hours away from the you know the Red Bank area. Yeah. And back then you didn't see that much indie film being shot, especially in New Jersey. Yeah. So I saw the ad, and I was like, I gotta get down to their audition. And, and it just exploded. Obviously, a few years later after, you know, right. it wasn't that big of a hit initially, but the, the cult following behind this movie has just been immense. It is yeah, you know, though, even though it was a hit, even in the beginning, it's, yeah. it still was a surreal experience from the get-go, yeah. as far as, well, just, you know, filming our first film, oh, yeah. and then going to Sundance, and just like experiencing that, all that whole thing. Oh, sure. getting, a, getting a prize at Sundance at all with the first film is a hit in my mind. I mean, oh. that was pretty amazing yeah, overall, agree, you know, yeah. but certainly not hit Hollywood standards like, you know, uh, blockbuster. Oh, yeah. But yeah. for an indie, uh, what we expected, you know, I was when I saw the screener, I thought this is really cool, but yeah. we'll be lucky if we get a little cult, you know, college campus sure. following because sure. it was so crazy and crude, but then so many wonderful things happened along the way. Well, really and did. when I landed in Sundance, they'd already had one screening, and I'm walking around, and people are already, already recognizing, recognizing me, and I was like, what <laughs> is this? Sh uh, shot a, yeah, just a, kind of a view of the startup. Yeah, it was yeah. scary. Yeah. I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to admit, it was totally scary. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think there's only a few films that, that, in my opinion, hold that that kind of cult classic kind of uh, view, uh, and I can name them on one hand, and be Clerks, Rocky Horror Picture Show, Big Lebowski, there's only a handful that you have such devoted uh, fans of, and, and it's, I think it's remarkable. I think uh, the movie, to me, I think it resonates really well with anybody who's worked retail and food service, but anybody who hasn't still gets a view, because I think there's someone in that movie for everybody that yeah. they say, either that's me or I know that guy. Right. I or you've that. been to an establishment and been given shitty service. Oh, sure. And now you're like, so, oh, maybe that's... Well, maybe they're having that type of a day. Yeah, yeah, right. which is the worst day you could, you could right. possibly imagine. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I was going to say, are any of you involved with Mulbrats? I don't know if... Uh, um, Brian I've been asked maybe. by Kevin okay. uh, to be ready. It. Uh, it's been pushed back a few times so yeah. far. I know he's still in the process of, um, from what I last heard, is still trying to get distribution streaming-wise we're going to okay. go. I think the route he wants to go. So Originally it was going to be a movie and they were going to do a series. It was straight up. It was just going to be a straight up sequel, yeah. Mall Brats. And uh, I think what happened was uh, he, they had issues with Universal. Universal didn't want to make a sequel movie, yeah. uh, but they were open to the idea of a television episodic. Uh, and Kevin is now getting a taste of directing episodic work, and, um, and I think he's enjoying it. And everything. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. everything's kind of moving in that long form as opposed to movies. I love, I love film, but the, the being able to tell a story over the course of eight to ten hours, right? Which you just, know, and the streaming, is yeah, and the streaming, binging, is, yeah, it really. <laughs> I think that's how most of us watch watch yes. the seasons now. And yes. that's that's been the BBC science formula for decades. Exactly Let's right. bring shows, do two, three seasons of, and then. And then we're out. The artists enjoy it because they get to work on some oh, yeah. other projects. And uh, the it. filmmakers enjoy it. You get closure. I get closure. You get closure. <laughs> and so I think that's I think that's what's happening now with American episodic television, especially the streaming uh, aspect of it. Is they're coming in with smaller packages of storylines that look, it's a story, but it that's can't it. go on forever. And, and I agree. I think that's one of the my favorite things about that BBC has brought in, and I'm, I'm glad more people are, are, are catching on. And I hope everyone will catch.
catch on with this. Uh, the first time that I really noticed it was the IT crowd. I don't know if you've probably seen IT crowd. Um, but they, I, I'd heard some back behind the scenes of them saying, hey, we're going to do a new uh, season calling B6, six, six episodes. Like, that's unheard of in, in Hollywood. It's unheard of in, in America for, for a showrunner to say, this is it. That's all we're doing. One thing, though, that I did notice out of the BBC shows yeah. is they're not your normal one hour. Yeah. Most of them are about an hour and 45. Yeah, a lot of them so are. It, so even though it's yeah. only six episodes, you still feel like it's that much because they're a lot longer. Yeah, sure. but, but, but also, it also stream. Now you're getting on, you're flipping the, the, the camera around to the business side of it. Yeah. It keeps the cost within reason. The story is told, fan bases are built, and you can move on to other seasons from that. So keeping it in shorter shorter episodes per season is usually a, a really great way to A, keep them on the hook, yeah. fan base wise, and B, keeps your production costs down low, and C, the stress on the writing staff to get you something that tra- you know stretches 23 sure, episodes. Sure, sure. Sometimes it's daunting and you go, well, that was a horrible you episode. One-off and that's because it's been, yeah, yeah. it's just kind of yeah, rushed into it. Yeah, like yeah. X-Files did that a lot, but it is one-off episode. You're like, what was the point of that? Yeah. Complete disregard of it. Although it's terrible to wait so long between <laughs> seasons. Right. Yeah, I think Sherlock and, and Doctor Who, we just had Doctor Who uh, special, and the last time we had Doctor Who was the last Christmas special. So we're just waiting a year and a half between, uh, between seasons. So. Although I did like the fact that they decided to do an animated version of The Lost. I absolutely footage. love that. I thought that was genius. Yeah. I could see it that being a regular spinoff, just being an animated version. Oh, oh for sure. It helps the, the, I mean, the acting talent, it's a lot easier. You can come in completely naked and just oh. <coughs> clear throat, <laughs> hand them a sheet of paper, and there they go, they're off. And you're done. Yeah, right. The TARDIS is a lot bigger there, then. <laughs> That's great stuff. So, so you guys haven't, you're not sure about Mallrats yet, or as far as anything else on the horizon? horizon? Yeah. I wouldn't turn it down yeah. if it came along. Little, but, little pop-in yeah. cameo. <laughs> that would be nice. That'd be perfect. That would yeah. be great. That, the one that I have looking forward to is Clerks 3. Oh, yeah. Um, but, yeah. You know, but Which, again, that, that's, that's been pushed back even more been, than Mallrats. It keeps getting pushed back, yeah. <laughs> that's 2018 now. Yeah, see, I, kept, I, I mentioned Mallrats. I thought that might be coming out first. That's why I mentioned it. But yeah. Clerks, Clerks 3, uh, I think, will be this. I'm hoping that it'll be more like the first movie, personally. I think that the second one got a little a little out there, a little more Jay and Silent Bob. Uh, I'd personally like more, you know, down to earth, like the first Clerks. In my opinion, but yeah, Clerks is actually my second Kevin Smith movie. I saw Mallrats first. I thought, oh, this that's is great. the gateway drug. Yeah. Mallrats is the right. gateway drug. Yeah, that's what we hear um, a lot of. Well, that's because that was the first mainstream release film of his. So a lot of people go, well, from the maker of Clerks, what was Clerks? Well, they go back to. And, back and then even when we did Clerks too, a lot of the millennials didn't hear about Clerks, so then they went back to all the previous. Well, movies. I know a lot of people who've seen wow. Clerks, the second one, but they, ha- haven't, seen the they, haven't, yeah. they haven't gone back to see the first one. And that's that's just that's just a shame. I think that the Clerks Clerks works for any any generation. I've had some people say, oh, it's, it's a little slow. It's dialogue heavy, but Tarantino's dialogue heavy, and it works. I think that... Uh, there's, not, there's not enough gun shooting in ours. <laughs> See, Tarantino fills the slow dialogue with a lot of gun little guns. Right. Keep, you, keep you excited and yeah. go back to dialogue. Throwing a gimp, you're all good. <laughs> <laughs>